Hey guys, get level here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up your overlays in Stream Elements. Now, if you're watching this video, I am assuming that you already have picked up a broadcasting software, OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, whatever. And of course, I'm assuming that you know how to use said broadcasting software, or at least you know how to add a source. If not, do not panic. I have a bunch of videos on Streamlabs OBS and also OBS Studio, check them out. But today we're gonna to be setting up a starting soon screen and an intermission screen in order to basically have an overall look at all the things that you can add within stream elements and how their overlay system works because it's kind of different from like Streamlabs. All right, I'm excited to get into it, but right before that, a little ad from our sponsor. Now, if you've been following this channel for a little bit, you know that own.gg slash level is where you go to get everything customizable for a live streamer or even a YouTuber. But what if I told you that the real streamers use own.gg slash level pro? <laughs> Seriously, Own just announced Own Pro, which is an OBS Studio plugin that gives you access to everything you need straight into OBS. Once you install it, it will give you access to a library of overlays and alerts that you can just scroll through, pick one you like, and then test it. Click on it, one click install, easy clap. Now let's say you want to add something like stream labels, aka latest subscriber, latest follower. Own makes it easy to do that from your source list. You would like to display your chat box into your overlay? No problem. They're actually already working on things like a dedicated Twitch chatbot and a possible copyright free music solution that avoids you from getting those nasty DMCAs. Now let's talk about fees. Ooh, you almost got scared there. You thought there wasn't gonna be a free plan. Well, there is, and the free plan is not a trial, it's free forever. So if you want to test the free pro, that's fine. But if you want to go pro pro, you can also do that. I'll let you check out the difference between the two plans. But in the meantime, go to own.gg slash level pro and step up your OBS studio game. Okay, you ready? Obviously here, the first step is going to be go to streamelements.com. If you go there, let me let me show you what it looks like when you just get there, okay? You go to streamelements.com, it's gonna show you this. You're gonna click um, to log in. I'm already logged in. So basically you can log in with your Twitch account if you're doing your overlays for your Twitch and uh, your YouTube and everything else. Whatever you're doing it for, that's what you log in with. Anyways, and once you log in, it's gonna bring you to your dashboard. We don't care about what's on the dashboard right now. We're gonna go ahead and under alerts and overlays to the left here, we will find my overlays, okay? If it's your first time doing this, it's gonna tell you, you don't have any overlays, create new overlay. And then here, overlay resolution, we're gonna go with 1080p. And here there's like a pretty interesting thing that shows you like a tour. I definitely advise you to start the tour, but we're gonna do it later. Right now, we don't have time. We're trying to set up an overlay super fast, okay? We're gonna call this one uh, station. I'm gonna base it off of one of my free overlays that you can get at gumroad.com slash level. So basically this overlay is provided to you, it's free, you go to gumroad.com slash level, you get it and you'll be able to install it just like I'm, I'm doing in the video right now. Okay, so add a widget. I'm gonna go ahead and find something that is static, custom, click image. And in here, we're gonna see basically the settings of our widget. Right now it's, you know, pretty much empty. We're gonna click set image. This is the part where we will have to upload our image. We're gonna click here to upload and go find the station overlay pack, right? So this is all the files that are included. Um, let's go ahead and drag the starting soon screen. Oop, okay, make sure you don't crop anything and click upload. Cool thing with Stream Elements is that you have up to one gig in your library basically, so uh, that's more than enough to have a bunch of overlays. <laughs> all right, there it is. You just click on it, click submit. Boom, and now it's gonna show in that little 200 by 200 container. Do not panic. First of all, I, I, I would love if Stream Elements just detected the, the image and show it as I uploaded it, but whatever. So here, in order to make sure that um, we have this 1080p, let's go and click position, style, and size, and width, we're gonna put, you know, 1080p. We're gonna make it 1080p. So that's 1920 by 1080, okay? Let's just drag it here, make sure that it's kind of centered. Boom, and there you have a starting soon screen. Now. What do we wanna add here? This is for the chat, and this is going to be like little widgets for um, your labels, for example. Let's click, oh, by the way, in order to center, I just realized there's a center widget button. Just click center widget, okay? Now let's go back up. Another cool thing that I like with Stream Elements is that layers tab here. If you wanna work by layers and really uh, play around with the order of appearance of things, if you want something to be behind something else, basically, you can drag and drop uh, all the way there. Well, let's go back, but now we want to add the chat. Basically, the first little adding widget thing has gone down here. It's the little plus here. So click that plus and find something that has to do with your chat. At the bottom here, you will find stream tools, your streams chat. Boom. 
drag it here and then put your mouse in a corner and make it the size that you want. We want it to be exactly this size boom and then you have your chat options if you want it to be transparent you can go to like uh custom i kind of like it like that so i'm gonna keep it like that for now in order to test this you obviously have to go to your twitch channel and type in your own chat and as you can see it shows up here so show messages permanently i like it it turns out that i actually like the size of chat actually i can make it uh make the text a little better so let's go to text settings, get that text a little bigger. And here it says size, so you can click <laughs> until you are satisfied. Now for the labels, how do we get labels? Let me click plus and then labels. Boom, let's say that I want, actually there's um in this pack, there's actually some images for the icons that are separate. So we can have them here. Let's add an image on top of this image, okay? Let's go crazy right now. So I'm gonna go back to static custom, add an image. Okay, click set image, click upload, go find that image, drag, drop, same thing basically that we did with the starting soon image. Click upload, boom, click submit. See, this is where I wish it would just like detect it. It's, it's a 1080p image, just detect it. Don't make me have to do this. <laughs> Let me center it first. It doesn't care about me centering it first. Boom, okay, so. The good thing I provided this, right? There's also one for non-affiliates. So this is for cheer. This is the, the logo for cheer. This is sub and this is top donos. All right, so let's click plus and let's add those labels. Okay, so we have sub here, latest subscriber. All right. And we can place that here. Now, as you can see, it says latest subscriber. I don't want that. So I can change this format, but I'm keeping the name of the latest subscriber only. Boom, okay. Now I can keep it here. Nice. All right, in text setting, I'm gonna put uh, enable dynamic font size. I'm actually not sure how to make sure that it doesn't uh, change if someone has a longer name or whatever, but I'm guessing this is, this is it, right? Or we can do like the text scrolling effect. Yeah, we can also do that. Let's uh, keep the speed pretty slow. Nice, all right. Now let's do the same thing. All right, I'm gonna use the same technique to add the other labels. Oh, and by the way, you can drag the sides actually to limit the width here. Okay, so we have our starting soon screen right here and we can click save. Now it saves it. If you wanna add it to your broadcasting software, all you will have to do is find a browser source, it's basically add a browser source and copy paste this link right here. See that copy overlay URL, you click this and let's say, for example, I want to add it to OBS Studio. Okay, this is what I'm using for recording right now. So it's going to show up uh, full screen pretty much. But basically, I would go ahead and click plus at the bottom of the source tab here to add a new source. Go find browser. I would definitely name it and put it in the appropriate scene. Okay, and here is where you want your URL to go. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you want this to be 1080p, right? And then click OK. And there is your overlay. Of course, now right now the chat is not active. But if anyone types in your Twitch chat, you will see everything up here. OK, now we're going to do the intermission screen, but I'm going to go faster because basically it's the exact same things, except we're going to leave some empty space so that we can add our camera and our gameplay in OBS Studio. So I'm going to click back to overlays here and we're going to create a blank overlay. All right. And a cool thing with my most recent overlays, for example, we're gonna call this one intermission. We're gonna click save. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to that station overlay, click edit. I should have called this one starting soon, by the way. And up here in layers, you're gonna wanna find your chat box, your streams chat too, okay? And then select it, you click on it once and click duplicate. Now when you click duplicate, it will ask you, where would you like to duplicate this widget to? And you're gonna click other overlays and we're gonna select intermission overlay and click submit. Boom, all right. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the rest. That means that image right here and the three labels. Now you can actually hold shift on your keyboard. So you select that one, you hold shift on your keyboard, and then you click on the top one, that one, that one. So now I have my image for the little icons here and the three labels. And then we're gonna click duplicate, other overlays, intermission overlay, submit. I actually don't know if it actually, <laughs> I don't know if it duplicated all four of them, but we'll see. So now let's go back after saving, of course, and then let's go to intermission overlay. Let's see, let's see what's up. All right, everything is already here. So all we have to do now is click that plus, go to 
static custom add an image and find our intermission image click up upload intermission is right here it's a png boom drag drop don't crop anything click upload we're gonna have to type 1080p again <laughs> Okay, go there, click submit, boom, all right. Position style, blah, 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 width, 1920, right? 1080, center widget, boom. And as you can see, we added this last, so it's on top of everything. We don't want that. We're gonna go to layers, and we're gonna drag image six, which is what we just added. We're gonna drag it all the way down so that everything is on top of it. As you can see, there's a little misalignment here, but that's completely fine. We're gonna select all those elements. So we have image two, name name and drag it down boom okay and that's it now you can click save and then copy this then go to obs studio do the same thing add a new browser source paste the link in here if you can see what's going on boom type 1920 by 1080 click okay and there it is okay so this is what it looks like i'm going to turn it off and we're going to add a camera you would have to go click on the plus here and video capture device name it whatever you want and then you would have to find your video capture device for example okay let's add this one okay i'm gonna switch it off so you can see what i'm doing and then here i have a display capture but i want another one or in this case you would want a game capture for example right you would add your game capture here and then click ok game capture would be 1080p uh, and you would just have to drag the corners to make it fit on the right side of the intermission screen that one you see that part right there so if i drag the corners and i just place it in order for it to fit right there and just like the rest you want your video capture device to be underneath the overlay just like the the, the, the game capture for example and there we go this is my camera i can actually make it a little bit smaller because it's meant to be a little smaller i'm just dragging the sides nothing nothing fancy here okay and there you go and as you can see i'm bleeding into the video capture right now, the game capture. So what I can do is hold Alt on my keyboard and drag that side to crop it. And just like that, you cropped it. And those are the basics of how to set up your overlays in Stream Elements. The big advantage that Stream Element has is that as you can see, we just have this one layer. This one browser source contains our overlay. So it's not too much work and it's not too much strain on our uh, computer, on our CPU, as opposed to going with Streamlabs where you would actually have your broadcasting software play all the sources one by one, effectively increasing the strain on your CPU. Anyways, all right, if you if I made any mistakes, please feel free to correct me. I'm actually new to Stream Elements. There are some other great creators that I recommend you go watch because I don't have a lot of of, uh, tutorials on stream elements right now there's truly um, she's amazing she has a ton of videos on stream elements and there's the video nerd I believe his name is uh, check them out both awesome creators and they have a ton of videos so if you can learn more about stream elements of course I plan to make more videos on stream elements too depending on the demand and um, yeah if you have any tips and tricks that you would like to know about or that you know you would like to share with me comment section below all right and remember the station overlay that i use for this video is available right now for free at gumroad.com get level with a bunch of uh, other overlays so check them out that being said this is the part where i slide over and then i let youtube show you what they think is the best video you should watch next and at the bottom of it you will find my most recent video so check them out keep on learning about live streaming and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching my video Go out there, make me proud. Get level out.